Briefly, we are going to talk about an upcoming tropical wave originating from Africa that we will be monitoring over the next week in the tropical Atlantic region. Some models suggest the possibility of a new cyclone developing as it moves west-northwest by mid to late next week. Remember that we are in the peak of the hurricane season, and it's entirely normal to be vigilant about these tropical waves. As an example, the ensemble of the European model shows a 15-20% to chance of a tropical depression forming between the Caribbean and Africa. However, there are many days of observation remaining, and the National Hurricane Center has not yet designated this region as an area of interest for cyclonic development. Note that some members of the GFS model ensemble develop a tropical storm by the end of next week. While there is still a lot of uncertainty about the path this system may take, it's worth mentioning that most members show a northwest to northwestern trajectory in the long term. Let's hope this trend continues and that it stays far away from the Caribbean. However, please be aware that if it remains weaker than projected, some long-term model members bring this disturbance closer to the Lesser Antilles region. For now, there is no need to worry in the Eastern Caribbean because we have many days to monitor this upcoming disturbance. Also, keep in mind that although in fewer numbers, some members of the European model show a similar trajectory to what the GFS model members indicate, with a few of them potentially impacting the Caribbean. I repeat, for now, there is no reason to be alarmed. We will be keeping a close eye on this tropical wave that originated in Africa to see if it has any potential for development. We will also monitor the National Hurricane Center in case they designate this area as an area of interest for cyclonic development.